What's going on guys? So thank you for tuning in. Uh, I wanted to do a quick intro video on what uh, was going to be happening in this video. It's going to be a little bit confusing maybe to some of you. Um, so what happened is when I first got these headlights, I tied in to try to make the flashers and the day running lamps work. And uh, considering we already have parking lights, I figured that if I ran these popped up and I put the parking lights on, I wanted the day running lights, day running lamps to turn on and at the same time for the flashers to work. So I had an idea and I'm going to show at the end um, uh, some of the videos that I did. I never posted them because at the end I decided, man, I wasn't going to go with it. However, I've had some questions and uh, specifically Take Flight Garage, um, uh, uh, we've been exchanging some notes here and I thought I'd post my old videos and the new videos that I did um, to try to get the results that I got. Now I'm happy with them. Um, and I like the speed at which they're flashing. Um, so that's what this, um, uh, uh, this video is about. So it's going to be in two parts and you'll probably see another video that I recorded earlier where I kind of explain, okay, here's the next part. Bottom line is I'm going to be doing first, uh, I'm going to show what they currently look like, um, when I'm running them. And then part two will be the original videos. Also, if you're going to be going to to LEDs when you're in a halogen environment, you will need some resistors. The resistors that I got, um, you can get on Amazon or anywhere else, but you need some 50 watt 6 ohm resistors. Okay, so 50 watt 6 ohms. So keep that in mind. Um, I'll be showing exactly what I did to tie into the harness. And then again, for reference, I'll show the older videos just so you can see what it looks like in, in down here, you know, behind the scenes. All right, so I took off all the resistors and connections and what I did to make this work here. And I'm gonna do my best to kind of explain um, how I got those results. And I, I feel comfortable with them. Um, uh, it, I'm not getting that little extra flash. So hopefully that helps out. Now, if it's still problematic, um, let me know. And uh, uh, you know, maybe I can do a little bit more electrical testing there. but. So what I found is a second resistor will be needed. So you will need a resistor for both um, the DRL and for the signal, for the turn signal. And these are um, uh, 50, um, 50 volts, 50 watts, and 6 ohm. So let's see if it puts it on here. Yeah, there we go. So 50 watt and 6 ohms. Okay, so let's decipher this here. And, well, I'm going to show where these guys tie into, but this here is going to be the headlights so the headlights have a green and a red wire well mine do and the green wire is for the turn signal and the red wire is for the drls the day running lamps all right so we have our signal green and our day lamps there okay so i am going to be tying into the back of this um uh, turn signal there of course it's the closest part there and uh, makes sense so in the back of this um, uh, turn signal here and this in the back of this and this there's a cover and it's got a three prong um, a connector which uh, points to ground DRL or day running lamps and the signal so we have three connections back there to tie into so what I did for the DRLs okay because on this side you have the receptacle that goes in so um, uh, that plugs into the back of it so to connect them this is going to plug in to the back circular receptacle to give to send the signal for the DRLs um, 
Also, this is basically the parking lights, and when the lights turn on, that allows the side marker and these lights to turn on as well, okay? So what I did is I used this little piggyback Y connector. I just needed a, you know, about, uh, what's that, three inches? So that goes into that harness, this goes there, and then I put a resistor with just a female end there, all right? So there we go. There's that guy there. All right, here's for the turn signal. Now, the red, same thing, goes into the harness. This goes to the back of the connection with a little piggy tail connector there, all right? The resistor completes this circuit to the ground connection. Same thing, back of the plug, uh, sorry, into the harness, back of the plug here. So that sits right there, piggy tail. But as you can tell, that's connected. Now, the reason why it's connected is because these three, okay, signal positive lead is gonna go to the one that's going all the way to the headlamps. So that's gonna connect there. So that connects there. And then the day running lamps are gonna connect to that piggy, piggyback there. So this is still plugged in, but again, we're just using that little cheater plug or the piggyback plug there. That's completing our positive connection to the headlights. All right. Now, each resistor must have a positive and a negative lead. Well, that's blank. There's no positive, there's no negative here. There's no ground. So what I did, that's why I put the piggyback here. This loops all the way around and connects to the back of here. Now I have a complete circuit for this resistor. Okay. Each one of these to complete the harness connection. And then I use the piggyback to send the positive connections to the headlights and the one on the ground to complete the circuit for this resistor. So that's behind the scenes right there. So I hope that makes sense. Um, this video, uh, I am sharing some notes with uh, Take Flight Garage is the channel. Sorry, man, I, I, I've watched enough videos, but I don't think I've ever heard you put your name. So uh, we're trying to compare some notes on what we both did. And hopefully that helps a couple of people as well. Post your um, uh, your findings if you've done this or if you have any suggestions as to what would be better. Um, I'd love to hear it. Uh, any notes, please share. That's the whole part of uh, being part of the 944 community. All right, so at this part, I this point of the video, I'm going to post a couple of, um, uh, of the original um, videos that I did while I was installing some of the wiring. And I'm only posting this so you can see uh, what the harness looks like and a couple of little things that I did um, again I'm just posting this so you can kind of see what's back there you know everything from this point on again is just for quick reference and it, please excuse the inaccuracies again I did this without resistors so keep that in mind um, and I did this uh, as a beta test when I was first I'm uh, trying to get these uh, new lamps to work okay so again I'm just posting this video to for notes comparison but i wanted to make sure i did this because that way you get an idea of how i move some things around i think i was going to even tie into the side markers something like that all right hey and thanks for tuning in i always want to make sure i leave that in there and hopefully again again post anything that you've done um link some of your videos as well i have no problem doing that i'd love to compare notes with you guys hopefully it helps some of you So under here we have the harness for the um, uh, front turn signals, which are these um, rectangular ones in the front of the car on the side, both sides of the bumper. So what I did is this connects to the back of the bulb and the gray and red, um, there's two going into that connector there and the gray and the red uh, are for the signal and for the side markers or for the parking lights that's where the green one is and then of course you have your ground so as I showed you a minute ago I wanted to make sure I still use this clip for the back of the bulb so I spliced into one of the gray and red wires and as you can tell that's two connectors there similar to the one that I just showed and then on this side I clipped and that way that's my connector going to the turn signal for the uh, LED light bulbs. 
all right? So I'll show that here in a sec exactly what that looks like. All right, so there's an opening right there. See the little gap? So I m took out the, as you can tell, the relay and took off the power. That way I can control the lights here. And here's my connector, excuse me, the wire. And I'm going to be zip tying it to the end of that chassis there so that when it goes up and down, it only pulls from that end and not from the back. And that wire, as I was showing earlier, this wire here, Okay, it's connecting to the green one. And then coming all the way here and, oops. And then coming all the way here and there's the wire that I spliced. There you go. So see there's the gray and white, gray and, sorry, gray and red wire on there. And if you look at it from the front, notice the orientation. This guy is, looks like it's the top one there. When it connects. All right. So there, now we're ready for the signal lights. So here is both wires and uh, there's the side marker right there. And as I stated, I ran it through right there, the edge of the um, uh, windshield wiper fluid um, uh, reservoir. So here is the Y. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this to the number one lead. Yes, this has numbers. Oops. Yes, these have numbers. Um, you can barely tell right there, but that's a one. And then hopefully you'll get in the light. There's the two. So one and two. One is positive, two is the ground. Um, and as always, there's my marker. So I'm gonna connect this end here, all right? And then we'll continue the video. All right, so the positive lead is connected to, um, um, again, this is gonna go through the DLRs of the um, uh, LEDs, which is the side marker connection. And now on that little extra Y there, that's where I connect this wire here, and this is a red and green or red and black. I was trying to clean it off, but I can't tell which one it is. Um, but see, I marked it white here before I disconnected it. That way I knew what it was going to be. And then here is, oops, there is the ground right next to it. So let's connect these. And again, so this is going to go on top here. And there's my Y connection. And this will go here. So let's connect that and show you what it looks like. All right. So there is the back of the front um, uh, signal light, and there's all my connections.